So my name is Izzy Mitchell, I'm 18 years old, I just graduated from school, I'm about to start uni. I'm studying a Bachelor of Psychology Honours at Macquarie and I'm very excited to start. I would have to describe myself as a people person, I've always been very extroverted, I love people, I love being around people, just surrounding myself with people and also being able to serve others. Um, it's always been like a passion that's and a calling that's really been put on my heart. I always knew that I was meant to help people. I started coming to Kellyville when I was about four years old. I was coming regularly and then shortly after my parents' separation, I stopped coming for about three years until um, my dad was able to bring me back, which was good and exciting. Um, and I was coming to church, but I wasn't really realizing the significance of Saturdays and I wasn't um, kind of spiritually engaging properly until I went to Storm Co, which was what I like to call my um, road to Damascus <laughs> moment, not as severe, of course. Yeah, it was really, really eye-opening and going to Storm Co was just absolutely amazing. I, it really kind of brought Jesus into my life properly and yeah, he really just shone through me after that. It was such an incredible experience. I am an absolute people person and just seeing how everyone was interacting, the love that everyone just shared for each other and the passion that you could see on people's hearts just to serve was really, truly beautiful. Um, everyone was so kind and loving and um, yeah, just even connections with each other. It was just absolutely amazing to just be there and witness and be fully immersed into this experience. Um, definitely the kids as well. It's just seeing their smiles, it was so nice. And them being able to kind of see Jesus without even realizing it, I think it's something that we miss every single day. Um, you know, the Jesus in our lives, the Jesus that comes into our day, he's always with us. And um, yeah, I think it was really, really nice to just kind of be immersed in that experience, yeah. There's so many things that I have learnt in the past few years. Jesus is always with you. Um, it takes me back to when I was a lot younger and I was in access at our old church and Lindsay Sands was preaching. I remember she was talking about how she was in the car and she was so upset and hurt and angry and just seemed hopeless and she was crying and she, she, just, she just had so many emotions um, and just felt so overwhelmed by so many things. And she was saying, God, what are you doing to me? What are you doing with my life? Why are you doing this? And she realized that Jesus was in the seat next to her crying with her. And I think that is just such an important thing to remember that Jesus never leaves your side. He's there with you. He's experiencing things with you. He felt her grief um, like he's felt mine when I feel just awful, sad, upset, hurt, angry. He feels it with you and he's there to support you. And it takes me back as well to um, the Bible. Um, Jesus cried when his friend Lazarus died, even though he knew that Lazarus would be resurrected, even though he knew that he would be saved, he still cried, he still felt that human emotion. He's just, he was like us in that way, just feeling that emotion. And it says Jesus wept. And yeah, that, that was such a, a beautiful thing that, you know, he, he really does never leave us. He is there with us all. Um, he feels our pain. He feels our grief. And he's there to support us through it all. And even though there are these emotions, it wasn't meant to be like this. And I think that's also something we need to remember. It wasn't meant to be like this. And um, whenever it is, it will kind of be restored to how it was supposed to be without, without those emotions, yeah. To anyone who is considering getting baptised, I would 
say absolutely yes. I, for a while, was kind of waiting for the right time and I think like a lot of people I was waiting for some kind of sign for me to be like, yep, I've done enough of this, I've done enough Bible study, I've done enough um, service, I've done enough reading of my Bible to then reach baptism. And I think that's absolutely not the case. Um, we're all human and we all, you know, make mistakes when no one's perfect. And I think it's such an important thing to remember that we're all on a journey and even just getting baptised, that's not the end of the journey, it's just a new beginning. And um, yeah, it's definitely not something that we should be waiting for if you're waiting to be the perfect person, the perfect Christian, because it's not something that's gonna happen and that's nothing to be ashamed of. It's a real journey that we kind of go through um, during our lives and yeah, it's just another step we can take.